Now we see the demonstration. So we have a few files here. Um, we have a main.c. Uh, you have seen a lot of uh, similar headers included. And also we have the input image. Um, what we see at this part of the code is that we define the different filters. For example, we define a blur filter. And uh, these are the uh, actual values we put into the filter. And we define the uh, filter size. So the width is 5. Uh, this is a sharpen filter. And the size is 5. Uh, we also have a different filter uh, for the sharpen, uh, for edge sharpen, and that's a size of three. And we have a um, edge detection filter uh, with a um, size of five. And we have a embrass filter, and so on. So those are all different filters you can use. And we have a filter list, uh, which will help us to um, test out a specific filter that we don't use in this example. Uh, in this case, we want to test out the uh, edge detection. So I'm just uh, point out the important segments in this program. Uh, here, uh, based on the filter you selected, we will assign the uh, size of the filter and also uh, let this filter pointing out to the right uh, filter definition. Um, and then you can see that we uh, use the um, this helper function to initialize the filter values. And also, we use this helper function to read the BMP image data from the file and put it into uh, this host memory. Um, that's uh, each input image. For output, we create the same size of the image uh, with the hope that we can read the uh, image back from the device to this host memory. And then we have this uh, code for platform for device uh, discovery. We have code for create context, command queue, and also build the program object and a kernel object. And this is where we create the images. Uh, it's similar to what we have saw in the previous uh, lecture slides. Uh, we define the image format, a single channel. The, the type is float. And we create this 2D image. We also create the uh, output image object um, to store the result. We then create this. Uh, filter buffer. This filter buffer is uh, just a simple OpenCL buffer object. We supply the, uh, the type of the buffer and also the size. The next uh, 10, 20 lines are used f for initializing these uh, input image object on the device and also the buffer object. So we define the origin and region. And we use this right image to um, basically copy the uh, image data, the raw image data, from this H input image, that's a buffer on the host, to this input image uh, object on the device side. We also do uh, copying uh, for, to move the buffer um, filter to the buffer on the device. So this is uh, what the NQ write buffer does here. We now create the sampler. Uh, that's where we define how we're going to uh, process the pixels that falls uh, out of the boundary. Also, how we're going to apply the filters if the coordinates uh, is a fraction number that lies in between uh, some pixel coordinates. Next, we will set up the uh, kernel arguments will provide the um, pointers to the input image and an op image object on the device. We'll provide the filter buffer. We'll provide the uh, filter width and also the sampler. Then we execute the kernel. You can see here we 
uh, set the global size as the columns and the width, the rows of the image, so that the whole picture is going to be processed. And then we use the local size 8 by 8. So this is going to be 8 work items in a group uh, in one dimension and also 8 in the other dimension. We'll now then do the CL in queue and the range kernel to launch the kernel. After the kernel is done, uh, the output image, this is an image object on the device, so we can read the output data back to the host using this CL uh, read image. So the output data will be eventually put into this H, uh, which stands for a host and output image buffer. Then we're going to call this uh, write BMP float. Uh, this is a helper function to store the uh, pixel data into a file and also create the necessary uh, file headers to uh, for the BMP format. And we specify the size of the image as well. And we can use this uh, convolution gold float to actually perform the uh, filter on the host. And this is very useful for verifying the results that we get from the uh, FPGA or GPU device uh, through the OpenCL kernel. So we'll write the same um, We'll write the results uh, to a file, but we name it differently. Uh, this will be a filtered reference. So this is kind of the uh, golden result that we should get. And of course, you can uh, do a, a verification by uh, comparing each of these values in those two buffers to see if there's uh, any significant difference. Ideally, these numbers will be identical uh, with a slight uh, you know, fraction of difference because of the floating point uh, computation. And eventually, we're going to free the resources on both the host side and also the OpenCL device side. So we'll compile the code. Uh, there are some warnings we need to um, you know, figure out, uh, well, this is really the warning that is to say the create image 2D is uh, kind of out of date uh, in the OpenCL 2.0, um, which is you know not a big deal that we um, most of the time we will work with 1.1 uh, or 1.x uh, OpenCL. And then we can run this. Um, so we can see there's output um, created. The new filtered uh, image is created, and the file name is catfilter.bmp. Also, this message is printed out because uh, when we verify the output from the OpenCL kernel function with the golden result, um, everything matches. 